So this Naughty Bop situation kind of intrigued me, and I got to thinking. This might be one of the most disrespectful songs that I heard in New York, mainly because they mock homies' death and they turned it into a viral dance. But this ain't the first time that rappers got super disrespectful. Rather, they was clout chasing or trying to send a message. So I'm going to go down my list of the top five most disrespectful songs in New York Drill. One, Coach the Ghost Hitless. Competition look nervous, they not close. Shine. I got plenty hollows just for Casamato, but I don't really want the cops to follow. So I'ma get the drop from a little thought. She gon' line him, he get shot tomorrow. And I know why he big mad. Cause the guys got one up on him. Shine. He a damn lie, he got shot and his man died with his gun up on him. This kind of cemented Coach the Ghost is one of the top lyricists in Brooklyn Drill at the time. Got him signed to Gucci, man, and kind of gave him like a little bit of national attention, especially on YouTube. He did Molly G, Pop Smoke after his death, JD, Young Costamato, and mad other people. It wasn't a crazy, disrespectful song, but it was only a few months after Pop Smoke died, so it got a lot of attention. Two, Young Costamato and D-Sav, Folk in the Trunk, Part 2. This song was so crazy and so viral that the cops was even playing it in the op's hood to get them upset. This shit was crazy viral, man. These niggas basically dissed everybody and it came with a whole nother different energy. This was kind of early on the whole diss and the dead ops wave, you know, this is back in 2018. So a lot of what you see Brock's drill doing nowadays was inspired by this song. Three, PNBJ on BK. Spin Brownsville peace, leave JD on his knees. How about the V on Rock of B? I'ma catch him with this 23. Catch chemo with the Nina, no Kanika, she in the freezer. How about the car and I spray? If I catch me, we get shot in his face. This song kind of underrated because a lot of people overlook it, mainly because PNV really wasn't that big of an artist. But this shit was disrespectful and it was very, very personal. He dissed OMB JD, all his homies, and he even made a point to come crazy at OMB JD's baby mama, Kima Loso. This shit was crazy. It was out of here, dog. Four, Kyle Rich, Naughty Bopping. Naughty, Naughty Bopping, punching my head. Like, come here, gotta do it like this. Don't, don't drop my shit. Then he shot a dippy trip. Be fake, that's till he dead on my split. Till he dead on my. Now, this diss song was on a whole nother level. Similar to how Chief Keith made Tuka a household name. If YouTube didn't take this video down, they would have made Naughty Bopping a viral dance that everybody knew. Babies were doing it, teachers, police, old ladies. They didn't even know what it meant, but it was a TikTok dance and it was viral, so that shit got attention. That alone makes it extremely disrespectful, dog, where a baby is doing a dance and they don't know that they're mocking the death of a 14-year-old kid. Come on, man. Five, use G's dead locs. Use G's pretty much dissed all the dead ops, Noah Baller, and like 10 other people. He was basically dissing everybody. Even A Boogie caught a stray. This song was a normal disrespectful drill song, but what made this different was it was a hit in New York and it was a party song. So people was dancing and partying to the song where homie was dissing the dead ops. This shit was crazy. That's five of the most disrespectful songs in New York drill history. Comment below. Let me know what your top five is. Like, comment, subscribe. Digital thugs. I'm out.